to talk about my hair oil that I've been making, that I'm making, or already made, but it's just basically stewing in the sun. But real quick, uh, when I got my locks, like my scalp always been dry, and I always had dandruff, and it always was worse like in the front. But when I got my locks, when I tell you when I got my locks, my shit got really bad, like dry patches, like bad, bad. It wasn't sores per se, but just real dry patches. And it came up like I could not hardly scratch it at all or just get caught up in my locks. So she was like, well, just use olive oil. What else are you using? I told her I was putting some other stuff in there. She was like, girl, just use regular olive oil. But I was like, damn, it's been like six, seven months and the shit ain't still got better. So I'm not understanding what is the problem. Then she was like, well, just go get some medicated shampoo. But I'm like, yeah, I don't want to do that. I don't want to. I want to find something natural. Hands are naturally doing too much. So I was like, man, I was looking up some stuff. And I'm like, I want to do hair infused oil. And there's so many different natural stuff that's out on the show. You don't know what to try. So I was like, bitch, I'm about to make my own shit. I'm about to look up some um herbs that are good for the scalp and hair to promote, to stop dandruff, dry um, patches, um, nourish your scalp. And I already had like 20 some bags of herbs already. So I was like, I know I got about 10. So I looked at, I looked through it. Um, I looked it up. I looked it up and found out I had several, but then I wound up getting like two more. And I wanted to make it my own oil. And what it said is you actually supposed to put it in the sunlight, like on your windowsill. And you want to leave it on there for about four weeks, up to four weeks, for it to really infuse the um, herbs. So then I was like, damn, but I want to use it right now. I don't want to wait and continue to use olive oil. So then I found out that you could put like it, like if you want it like speedy fast right now, you could put it in the mason jar. Put a um, dry rag or a dry towel at the bottom of the crock pot. Um, put it on slow for like eight hours. And then that'll be like your speedy version of infused oil. So I did that. Then I was like, you know what? Let me make another batch so I can do it the right way. So it can really get infused. And really all the um, nutrients and antioxidants can really get pulled out of the herb so I can use it. So I, I did another batch and I put it in the windowsill for four weeks. So this is what it looked like. So here it is in the mason jar. I didn't do too much, but this is 10 ounces. So I was like, that'll be enough. And then I just put it in my squeezy bar. I mean, my squeezy bottle. I don't know why I said bar. So, yep, it's been there for four weeks. So I'm excited to use it. And honestly, I think I've seen results with the one in the crock pot. So I can't wait to use this. Let me just read to y'all the few benefits that I found. And I was like, hell yeah, I'm doing this shit. I'm not buying any oil anymore. I'm making it myself. So I put in neem powder, moringa powder, hibiscus flowers, rosemary, cloves, and olive oil, which was the carrier oil. So it's extra virgin olive oil, neem powder, what did it say? It's anti-inflammatory, anti-micro, no, antibacterial, um, anti-fungal. Um, it prevents scalp damage. Um, it, what is it? Maintains pH level, which is important. Hydrates the scalp. Um, moringa. Um, it helps prevent dandruff and itchy scalp. Um, it also has vitamin A, B, Omega-3 fatty acids, um, hibiscus. I think hibiscus did the same thing. Uh, rosemary promotes growth spurts. Um, it helps thicken the hair. Um, and like three out of the five um, things, that, the herbs that I add to that was all dandruff control and all anti-inflammatory, which is a lot of problems with just in general. Anytime, anytime anything is inflamed in your body, that means you to put something in your body that don't belong or something needs to get out. You need to stop using it or whatever. Or if it's inflamed, then that means obviously you're going to have a cause and a, a, um, an effect, which is basically, since I'm talking about here, my dandruff, my, like I said, I don't think it's dandruff. I think it's like dry patches, like dry scalp. But I feel like it's getting better. But like I said, it was always bad, like in the front and the back has gotten better. So I can't wait to use the one that's been sitting in the window cell for four weeks. But yeah, all of it, like anti-inflammatory, antibacterial, anti-fungal, dandruff control, like all that good stuff. And it just be like, I don't know. I just be really in my element and really happy when I find some natural shit that work. You know what I'm saying? And you can buy this shit. And that's another thing. They be charging arm and leg for this shit. This natural organic oils. And it be so many. You don't know what to pick. You don't know really what they put in there. Then you look on the back and they be like, okay, that's natural. That's natural. That's natural. That's natural. Okay, what is this? What is that? Oh, that's a preservative. See, alcohol. What do you need alcohol in there? And then what is that? Sodium bio carbonate? I don't know. But then when I went to this one festival and they had these black vendors... And I thought about it too. I was like, look at that. See, I can do this shit myself. She was like, um, this one hair um, oil growth, I mean, one hair growth oil. She was talking about how she grew her edges bad, really good. And she was talking about some other benefits. I was like, damn, it's pretty good. She was like, yeah, this herb, this hair growth oil actually has 20 different herbs 
When she said that, I said, okay, bet. Bet. Thank you, sis. Because I put, what, like just six? What is that? One, two, three, four. No, I only had five in there. So, bet. So, now I'm about to make my own shit. And watch my shit grow like magic. Come on now. Natural. All day. Get into it.